Alright guys, right here is all my simplex firearms I have. Don't have a big collection. I even do have other collections, guys. Um, I, I have a... I have a traffic signal. This is my pedestrian signal. Here's my other one. I also have a model rail... I have a model railroad. And I even have a cell phone collection. So... Yeah. So, but I even collect fire alarms as well. I am going to be getting some more in the future. But these are all of my simplex fire alarms I own. And sorry about those are my, my Xbox games. I, I do play Forza. It's a really good game. Anyways, let's begin. I'll start out with the pull stations. Right here is a simplex DT bar pull station. This is a 4099-9002, I believe. If I got that right, um, I might be wrong. I'll look inside at least. This is double action because it has the push in part. And I guess we'll pull it down. Um, when I first got this pull station, it came apart, like broken, but I fixed it with some super glue. And it's really simple to open up the pull station, take the, um, let me get it, um, the simplex B key. This will work on any B key, I believe. Oop, I dropped it. Um, let me just see if I can get this open. Sorry, guys, I'm using a different hand. Um, I gotta be very careful. You desert the key. On some models of the pole stations, you might want to turn to the right, but some of them you want to turn to the left. For this one, you have to turn to the left. Get it in there. And there's the inside. Here's, like, the inside. All right, this is a 490... Oh, this is a 4903. All right, never mind. This is a 4903 T-bar. Uh, dang, I put it upside down. Crap. Forgot. This is not like the newer ones. Hold up. Sorry, okay. Sometimes it's just hard to do it with one hand because I'm mean, using an iPad Pro for using this. And sorry if it's a little shaky. But after that, it's a good pulsation. And here is the single action version of the T-Bar. This is a, this is like the, one of the newer ones because it's new because you can recognize the Simplex logo. This is a 2099-9754. There are different types of brands. That, well, not really type of brands, but there are different type of pulsations of the 2099. Because some of them have the older Simplex logo, but this one has the new one. So I'm going to pull it. So we pulled it. Basically, you take the speed key, and this one's different because you have to turn to the right, and there's the inside. Here's the code. I am signing in to see if I can get this to work without a control panel. This one's in my collection for a long time. Well, not really a long time. I had it for maybe a few months. Still in good, perfect condition. But yeah, those are my two pulsations. Now let's have a look at all the alarms. This is my first alarm. This is a, this is actually one of my first fire alarms. Um, this is the Simplex 4906-9151 True Alert. Um, this is the speaker strobe version. Some of these speaker strobes may on be on the ceiling. And there's a view of my minivan. Not minivan. Um, there's a plane van. Sorry, not like the vehicle. Um, oh, dang it! Why did I hit the remote? Like I was just saying, there's, some of these have the ceiling versions. There's different types of models of the speaker strobe truller. There's some in white. This is one red. I'll show you the back of it. Yeah. Looks very nice. It does work. Strobe does work. I test. I only tested the strobe. I would like to see if I can get, maybe to see if I can get the, the, the speaker to work. But I don't want, my parents told me I can't do that because it's loud. Because I know I live in a neighborhood and I don't want to upset the neighbors. But after that, the doll, I know the strobe works. So I'm, wondering, I'm guessing the speaker works as well. If I get some, I gotta get some speaker wires. But yeah, it's a nice true alert. I did a few videos on it a while back and it still works. Here's my remote strobe version of the true alert. This is a 4906-9101 true alert remote strobe. So I like to call it strobe only because it is. 
I, I used to have a um a horn strobe, but it was a 4903-9451. But if you're probably wondering what happened to that alarm, the horn stopped working. I was working on it, then I blew up the horn when I was trying to get it to work. Some smoke came out of the horn, and I was very sad because I blew up the horn. I might get another. I, I might get another one, but it's gonna be a different model. I'll look for one on eBay. So back to this one. So this is a remote stroke. My father got this. I still have the manual and its original box. Still works. See the back? Let me just flip it over. As you can see, there's the back of it. Yes, it's a very good alarm. Yeah, I guess you can find these in bathrooms and all that and buildings. After that, it's a very good alarm. V love it. Brand new when I got it. Very happy with this alarm. Now, these are my old... This is one of the older Simplex alarms. These are a little bit older. This is a Simplex 4903-9101 strobe plate. This strobe plate actually came in when I first got... When I first got this alarm, it actually was the one that I found when it had the bell, which I'll talk about in a sec. I, it does work. I tested out the strobe works and everything. And I am thinking, I am going to be getting a... I might get a 9838 horn for this. Because one of my old elementary school had a had these alarms with the 9838 horns. So I might get a 9838 horn for my... For this one because i took the bell off the this i took the bell the bell that was on this one i took it off like when i first got it when i first got this um alarm it came out like this because when the bell was still on it and the fire where the, the strobe where it says fire was like this but it's but right now it's upside down because i i i kind of put it back where it was i think i got that right but after all this it does work Last but not least is a, this is one of the older Simplex Bells. This is a, um, if I can guess correctly, it's a, I'm going to get Mr. Monkey out of the way. Bye-bye, Mr. Monkey. I'll pick it up. So I'm guessing this is a 2901-9333 bell. Uh, I'm thinking what it is. I, I haven't seen him made video. I haven't made fire alarms of videos in a long time. I'm guessing this is the 2901-9333 bell. So this bell did work and when I found this on eBay when it was still on the 90 the the strobe plate the bell did work I actually tested this out before it was so loud so this is my this is one of my only bells I have pick it up carefully there's the back of it carefully put it down I actually have an image of the bell when it was still on the plate. And I might test it out and ring it real quick. Sorry, that's kind of going to ring it. I might try to do something. I might ring it better. But it was, it's on a table, so that's why it's not ringing that loud. See? It sounds like a railroad bell. You see how a railroad crossing. But yeah, that's... It's a nice looking bell. The bell and the strobe plate do work. Very nice. Let me know in the comments if I should make another video of this bell. You know what, guys? That's pretty much it of all my Simplex alarms I have. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, I am going to be doing another update video if I do get the horn strobe trailer. And let me know in the comments what Simplex alarm should I get next. Anyways, guys, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Dammers out.